Welcome back to Design Santa Barbara. I'm here with Dana Nierquist, and we are going to talk about something that has been intriguing many of Santa Barbarans for a very long time. I, like so many others, have always been fascinated by Bella Squatter State and Huguette Clark. Can you please tell us about that? I can to the best of my ability because, number one, I've been in, around, above, I've been everywhere except in the estate. Oh, wow. Okay, I know all about it. I've got pictorials of it. Of, of course, I know Bill Deadman. I know uh, Barbara Duran. Um, so I, I can tell you from their eyes, I have not personally been to Bella Squardo, and I can't wait to get there. I mean, I've been promised by many of the foundation members, board members, and uh, the mayor, uh, but I have yet to set foot on the property. So I can only tell you from uh, the experience of others what I know about Bella Squardo. And basically, Barbara Doran's book, and her dad was Albert Hosler, uh, who was the head caregiver. Her book surrounded, it's, it's basically a walk through Bella Squardo. It describes the gardens, it describes the house, it describes the people that were around, it describes, oh, the animals, her having tea with uh, Huguet, and some of the personalities that walk through there. So her book is fascinating. So I got... Uh, I got really a, uh, a historical representation going back 70 or 80 years with her through her book and her vision. So through that and Bill Dedman's book, that's how I know Bella Squardo. Very well. My next question is related to that. So what is the current status of this state? When Huguet died, uh, it directed that Bella Squardo would be gifted to the city of Santa Barbara, and the purpose is a, an art museum. Now, most of the art was to remain at Bella Squardo, as far as my understanding. Some of that has been sold off at auction. But there had been a question. Anyway, there was a foundation formed, 19 people, were board, became board members, and those are all high-profile people, uh, many philanthropists, may, many business people, uh, attorneys, and so forth. Uh, the, the problem, though, was the settlement of what was thought to be a debt owed to the IRS in the, somewhere in the tune of 16 to 19 million dollars, back taxes. Um, and also settlement to the different family members, their claims on Bella Squardo or the whole estate. So I probably am ill prepared because they said in, in 2011 that it would probably take a year to settle all this. Well, here we are in 17 and it's still not settled. Still not settled. So, Eventually, things will get settled, and uh, with that, we will have uh, a beautiful estate out there owned by the city of Santa Barbara for the purpose of being a, an art museum, and exactly how it's utilized and who is going to remain on that foundation board, I'm not sure. But um, I think because of the time lapse, there's a few of those initial board members may have lost interest or gone on to something else. So there's lots of questions surrounding Bella, Bella Squardo, as there have been about Huguette Clark for a hundred years, you know, so it's still a mystery. It's a fascinating mystery, actually. It is. When we come back, we are going to talk more with Dana about his important work taking care of those who need help the most. We'll be right back.